Hi everyone, my name's Michelle and I'm Mama Loves You GB here on Flosstube, but also on Etsy and Instagram as well. Welcome to the Sunday Morning Briefing meets Flossmas. So this is December the 5th, this is Flossmas, and if you normally tune in for the briefings on a Sunday morning, I have actually been making a little video every single day. So they'll be added to the playlist, so if you just let this one play out, it will carry on and you'll be able to see the other videos that I've done already this week. So I hope you've had a good week if this is the first time that you've been back with me this week and hello to all my new subscribers. I've got a load of new subscribers so hello. I hope you find something that you are that you like and that you want to stick around for. Um, I do try to show all sorts of different things so chances are if there's nothing that you like in this episode then before too much longer there will be something. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to do a little bit of a kind of hybrid morning briefing versus a a flossmas so I've got some stitching that I've already completed to show you so I'm busy working my way back through my finishes for 2021 I think I said I had 58 I have got the winners of the competition that I started last week I've got a new competition to do I've got a freebie I've got a little bit of haul I've got a miserable amount of stitching because obviously I've been showing my stitching every day. So this is just my stitching that I've done since I showed it, which was yesterday. <laughs> um, I haven't had that much stitching to do really. We've been decorating for Christmas today and I had a lovely Zoom call, Teams meeting, uh, Google Meet, whatever you want to call it today, with um, all of the other people that took part in the floss, not the floss, the Christmas exchange, the Christmas ornament exchange that I did. So um, that was so much fun just to see everybody and chat with everyone just for an hour. It was it was amazing. So again, thank you to Elizabeth Ann who organised the exchange and also the, the meet. She did, gave us a little quiz about Christmas movies and I'm absolutely rubbish at movies. Even if I'd watched it the day before and you gave me the plot, I probably still wouldn't recognise what it was. I'm terrible, terrible with movies, which is good in some ways because it means I can watch every movie I watch is a complete new mystery to me I might have watched it before 25 times but it's still a complete mystery to me I just can't hold them in my head right after all that waffle let's get on and show you some what should we do should we do some competition winners let's do the competition winners and then launch the new competition as well so if you remember I was given some of these, uh, the new charts from Ruthie from Crow's Feet Stitching, and I had three to give away. And the first one, I have written on the back of these who won them because I have been slightly organised, and I'll show you the picture from the YouTube comment picker as well. So the first one, the keyword for this one last week was crown. And the winner of this one was Margaret Miller. So Margaret, if you can get in touch with me by email, I will uh, give your details over to Ruthie and she will send you your chart out. So well done, Margaret. I will comment on your comment as well, but if you happen to see this before that, then please just get in touch with me. The second one that I had was this one, which is called Hail Smiling Morn. Again, by Crow's Feet Stitching. You can find them on Etsy and da, da, da. let's just find where I've written this down on the back. This one was won by Caro or Caro Burden. So I hope I've said that somewhat right. And uh, again, if you can email me, then I will pass your email over to Ruthie. And then lastly, this one, Deck the Halls. This one was won by, and I'm gonna to have to look carefully at my writing because A, my writing is not that brilliant and B, it's it's gonna be a little bit of a tricky one for me. So let's try. Alison Kubazeski. Yeah, I think I've got all the letters in the right order there. So I'm sorry, Alison, if I have butchered your name, but um, if you could get in touch with me by email, I will get your chart out to you. And then Galliana Crossstitch, who have been uh, a good friend to the channel in uh, in previous times, have released a new stitch for Christmas. It is called, let me get this right, The Christmas Window, and I'll put a picture of it up here. Beautiful, beautiful design. Um, now, Elaine from Galliano is, is known for her 
monochromatic designs but you could put colour into it you could do it whatever colour you wanted so you could do it as a monochromatic you could put your own touches of colour in you're free to do whatever you want with it they're always stunning designs beautifully detailed so if you'd like to have a go at winning this one and again it's a pdf chart so it can go anywhere in the world and i actually got two i nearly forgot i've got two to give away um if you would like to use the keyword window let's go for window and uh just use that in your comment obviously you have to be over 18 don't say freebie don't say giveaway any of that normal kind of jazz then uh, please please comment below if you'd like to have a go at winning that and i'll draw the winner for that next sunday so the next morning briefing um the proper sunday one i will i will draw that because otherwise i'll just get confused as to when i've said it so i'm going to leave it a week right i'm going to show you my stitching that i've done and as i said if you want to see some more stitching what i've been doing as i've been going through the week then just have a flick back through the shows from this week now i seem to remember saying that I wasn't gonna let myself start all the Christmassy things. Famous last words, famous last words. I think what it was that's kicked it off is uh, Atlanta Stitcher, that fabulous Christmas tree that she showed us yesterday and, um, and the video, the video for it. So if you haven't seen Atlanta Stitcher's Christmas tree, I think I'm actually going to put the little clip in again because it is that fabulous. Her YouTube channel so I will link that down below so please go and have a look at it so I think this is why I suddenly decided that I wanted to start another ornament now I have been doing the monthly orny sales and I am a little bit behind um, so only by one or two I can't remember if it's one or two so I decided because this was right by my stitchy chair yesterday that I was going to start the little Jim Shaw Santa this one is called Festival Friends Santa and it's actually one of a set of six, which you can just see on the back there. And this is as far as I've got. Let me just see if I can put, put that behind there. So that's as far as I've got with the bottom of the, of the coat, the sort of patchwork coat that it's gonna be. Now, when I stitch these, I just stitch them, I just use the beading needle, that's a little bit, there we go, I just use the beading needle and I just bead mine as I go. I, my brain can't seem to leave gaps for beads very well, very accurately anyway, and, um, and so I just bead as I go. And it does say to use three strands of floss, I only ever use two on mine. I only ever use two, which is why I can just use the beading needle for everything. And I think the coverage is absolutely fine. And this was one that I showed yesterday, which was the Welsh Santa. And just to show you, I did him with two strands all the way as well. And the coverage is absolutely fine. I did have a lot of queries as well about how I finished this one off. So I've actually got two Mill Hill things on the go. And as soon as I finished one of them, I will do a little video about how I finished them off. So that's it, that's all the stitching really that I've done since yesterday. The other thing that I showed yesterday and has got a lot of people interested is this, Elizabeth's bird. And this will be the next thing that I chart. So as soon as I've finished doing the finishing touches to, just get the shadow off my face, as soon as I finish doing the finishing touches to Mary Small, who fingers crossed will be in my Etsy shop tomorrow, I will make a start on Elizabeth Bird. It is called Elizabeth Bird because it says Elizabeth, and I think it says Sivers on the back, just in pencil. 
and she stitched it on a silk. I don't know quite what the silk was from because it's obviously got a join there, but she stitched it on a piece of silk and it's lovely. Absolutely glorious. I just love the yellowy part of the, of the bird and the leaf. So as I said, Mary is due to be in my Etsy shop tomorrow. And this is her all finished up. And this was her original sampler. So I'll put her in my shop for tomorrow. And then I think on tomorrow's briefing, uh, tomorrow's Blossomus, I'll give you just a little bit of a rundown on her. Um, so yeah. Don't forget to favourite the shop if you're looking for that chart and you haven't already. Favourite the shop and then you'll know as soon as it hits, as soon as it hits. Right, what else have I got? Let's do today's freebie. Now, today's freebie is the last in a series by Liz Matthews. And this is her winter celebration small. Let me just fold this one in half and then I can get nice and close. I just love that little patchwork border and the colours. The colours are just a little bit different for Christmas. So a little bit softer, just a little bit different for Christmas. And you can see there it's charted in either DMC or Weeks Dye Works, 55 wide by 43 high. Now the way to get this is to subscribe to her newsletter which you want to be subscribed to anyway really you can find out all the things that Liz is up to and as I say this is the fourth I think the fourth in her freebie series this year so if she does another set next year if you've already subscribed then you will be right in the right place to get those freebies so thank you for that Liz it was amazing uh, to see another another freebie ping in, into my email box. There's quite a few of them around at the moment, so uh, it's worth thinking about who your favourite designers are and making sure you're signed up for any of their newsletters or anything, because there's quite a few freebies at the, mo at the moment. Right, I'm going to do haul next, and then I'll leave the advent calendars till right towards the end, because... Um, because because I don't want to ruin the patchwork rabbit one for anyone so I like to leave that one right to the end just in case you haven't opened yours yet it was interesting actually I had this floss color yesterday and actually some people had a slightly different one and I think um, patchwork rabbit said there'd been a little bit of mix-up with one or two of the um, envelopes so we shall see whether I get the other color later on and when I brought this out. No, that's the wrong one. Didn't think that was the first day's one. That was Bethlehem. Here we go. When I brought this one out, which was Weeks Dye Work Sugar Plum, I was amazed at how well it matched my nails. And I genuinely hadn't looked. I genuinely hadn't. And I said to Patrick, I said, they said, did you peek? And I was like, no, I genuinely hadn't. And they were like, yeah, we believe you. And I was like, no, honestly, you're crediting me with far too much kind of forward thought and planning. <laughs> forward thought and planning in December is just not, not happening. We've just, as I said, we did our, did I say we did decorating today? We did decorating today. Now, I've always thought that I was a pretty, I would say, not rustic decorator, but pretty free, free from decorator. But not when Ness is around. <laughs> I came downstairs after my Zoom call and they'd already started putting some decorations on the tree and they were literally all in the middle <laughs> and I was like no <laughs> and started to rearrange them and, and things like that and she's like well why can't that go there why can't that go there I'm like no it's too close to that one that one's red as well it needs they need to be separate and she was obsessed with putting these little berries in the tree so I kept taking them out again and five minutes later they'd be back in the tree <laughs> so no I'm not having those in there so bless her she did a great job um apart from the bits that needed just a little bit of a bit of spreading out otherwise my tree would have been just too solid at the front and it probably would have leaned over as it is it's got a bit of a kip to it so um we'll see we'll see so we've got to decorate the rest of the the rooms now so um I say the rooms I'm gonna put a little bit up in the kitchen and put a little bit more in the in the kind of living area and then I think that's about it sorry I thought I heard a little a little stirring but it wasn't she wasn't she's fast asleep 
Right, previous finishes. Previous finishes. I forgot. I forgot my previous finishes. I knew there was something else. It's me just about to go on to haul. Previous finishes. And they are two from the lovely Christina from Whilst Iris Snaps. And the first one, I was, just, I was just looking and just remembering. I haven't sort of really looked at her for, for quite some time. The first one was There's a Hudson. And she was stitched on 36 count. Let me come over here, I've got a big shadow on my face. 36 count something. And I will put that something along the bottom because I forgot to check and see what it was. 36 count something. With most of the cool four colours all kind of in the same vein. The, the colours chosen were in the same kind of wheelhouse. But I just absolutely love there's a, she's just such, such a little cutie. Oh, I'll show you again without that piece of fluff on the top. I'll tell you what, dusting to decorate for Christmas is the worst job ever. Makes you feel like such a failure. <laughs> We have an open fire in the living room, so our, our living room's always really dusty. But, um, yeah. Anybody always asks me why I get so much stitching done? It's because I don't do a lot of dusting. And this one is another one. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Another one from Wild Cyrus Stamps. This is Ada Bilson. And again, Ada is stitched on a 36 count something. I'll put it along the bottom, using similar colours, but not necessarily all the called for ones. Dead Sea Scrolls by Seraphim, I think. It's Dead Sea Scrolls by Seraphim. And then, I think this is one of my favourite frames. And there she is. So both of those are still available from Christina's website. So if you fancy either of those, go and go and grab them. Right, we definitely are on to haul. I've got a little bit of haul. I have been kind of showing you my haul as I've been going through. Now I had a voucher for Patchwork Rabbit, so I spent my voucher for Patchwork Rabbit, and I got some threads for some charts. <laughs> I've written them down somewhere, and I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head what I, what I bought for. I know one of them was the new um, the new chart from Carol Et Stitch, which is uh, called, I'll put it up there, my brain. I think my brain has started on the Christmas holidays early. Um, one of them is for, I don't know. I don't know what they're for. Isn't that awful? I placed the order three days ago, no, two days ago, and I wrote them down. Right, I'm gonna just hold them up. And I'm gonna write across the bottom <laughs> what they're for. I shouldn't be allowed. I should not be allowed to just be out and about unsupervised I don't think and wrinkle wrinkle I picked up a couple of little bits of fabric because they did have some little bits of picture this plus in so I picked up a 36 count ale and that was a fat eighth and I also picked up a 36 count Bloom. Again, it was a fat eight. There we go. So what I might do actually is just hold those two up because when you're looking at neutrals sometimes it's nice to see them next to one another. So this is ale and this is doubloon. So doubloon's a reasonably yellowy one and ale is a very sort of tan one. In all the photos that I've seen for Ale, it always looks grey, but it isn't. It's a real kind of nice tan brown. <laughs> and then <laughs> I got this one from uh, Jeff P. Smith on uh, eBay. And the link for this one 
is in the in the drop down box. This is Prairie Schooler and it's called Christmas Favourites and I just really liked those little um, sort of cartouches in the middle with kind of black work around the outside. I don't know if you can see. But Trudy must have seen my little rant about Prairie Schooler and about their um, paper copies now. And actually a couple of people messaged me to tell me that um, they don't make them anymore, Hoffman make them, and that I should redirect my anger to Hoffman. So I have, I've redirected my anger to Hoffman. And then this one came with a little note on it says, this is a cardstock one. So she'd obviously seen my little rant about uh, Prairie Schooler and their paper charts. So yeah, it's a cardstock one. <laughs> oh dear. And the other thing that I got, and I am so chuffed with this, I bought this on eBay and it's a little box, a little casket, a little old box. And that lifts out. And this is a pin cushion. Now, that's a nice fabric, nice enough fabric, but I think you can tell what I'm going to be doing with it. I'm going to find a piece of stitched work where it's about that size and I'm going to rewrap the lid in my stitched piece so that this lovely little box will have a stitched top to it. It's beautiful wood, little, I'm guessing originally it would have had um, little wooden rings through there but it's got just little pieces of um, leather now and then it's a really nice I don't know what type of wood it is if I had to guess I would say mahogany but I'm not I'm not that great on on wood so there I was so pleased to get that it's just so different and I can't wait to make it into a little a little pin cushion top so we've got the advent calendars now. The first one is the Marks and Spencers one. Immortal Cream is still doing its job. I am still here. I got Immortal Cream a couple of days ago, just in case you're wondering. Oh, Philip Kingsley. Now my mum has this in her bathroom. And when I go to stay, I always go into her bathroom and use her Philip Kingsley things. So Elasticizer Therapies, Jasmine and Mandarin. Oh, I bet that's nice. Deep Conditioning Treatment. So I shall be looking forward to that. I know it's really silly, but these little advent calendars really make my my December. They really do. Um, little beauty one, because then you just get a little nice something else to try. And then the, um, the patchwork rabbit one. And then my other advent calendar that I get, <laughs> and this is a really silly one. My advent calendar every morning is actually which ridiculous picture have YouTube actually chosen for my uh, my cover shot today. So that's almost like a little advent calendar in itself. So number five, let's have a look and see. It's a thin one and it's a thread one. Ooh, I've used this one before, Crystal Lake. Lovely gray blue. It is in, I think, the blue flower Sleeping Bee, I think. Crystal Lake is in the Blue Flower Sleeping Bee. And it's a lovely, lovely thread. Right, folks, that's it for me. I will see you tomorrow if you're going to join me again for Flossmas. Or I will see you next Sunday if you're going to do a bumper catch-up for then. Take care. Stay classy, Stitchers.